Warning, this tutorial gets deep into the weeds and high up into the mountaintops of what's possible with Google Sheets. If you want to try out the template before you watch this entire tutorial, give it a look in the description. But here we go. We all know that point where you reach the end of the spreadsheet. Your Google Sheet just isn't big enough to handle the data that you're working with. Uh, so what I do when I hit this point, and been hitting it pretty often lately and, and pretty much working only in BigQuery or other databases, is basically I built this sheet along with the team at Coding is for Losers that is a bridge between Google Sheets and BigQuery. So what the sheet does is it allows you to push data from Sheets up to BigQuery and model it in BigQuery using SQL queries, which are, as you know, if you write any SQL, way, you know, 10,000 times more powerful than what you can do just in a spreadsheet in terms of data analysis. Um, so it allows you to model all your data up in BigQuery and then pull it back into Sheets if you want to use it again. So it's both a push up to BigQuery and a pull back from BigQuery using uh, Sheets as the kind of bridge. Sheets can still be really useful because um, there are tools like Supermetrics and other add-ons like this um, where you can pull data into Sheets from APIs that you otherwise couldn't get data from. So for example, you know, in Supermetrics, you can pull data from Google Analytics, DoubleClick, AdWords, all these different data sources um, that makes it really easy to get your raw data but it's the size of the data that's the issue. So, you know, we have 100 rows of data here. That's, that's great. But what if we have 30 different sites that we're looking at for a year and we have daily data? You know, do the math. It quickly adds up to beyond the 2 million cell count that Google Sheets can handle. So pushing up to BigQuery makes it easier to deal with. Uh, so let's just follow all the instructions for getting started are on the Getting Started tab. So the first thing we'll do is create a project in BigQuery. Um, so if we go here and we'll say create a project, demo project. Um, so we'll just name it. The ID is beneath there, so that's what we'll copy. And we'll click create. And then Go back in here. Uh, second thing we'll need to do, and log it just in the sheet. Second thing we'll need to do is enable the BigQuery API. Uh, and we'll do that in a couple place, just places just for the sake of thoroughness. So the first is in the script itself. So we'll go to Tools Script Editor uh, within the sheet. Go to Resources Advanced Google Services. And this is all in the um, in the API setup tab, by the way. You don't need to like memorize this from the video. Uh, we'll take the link to the Google API console, and this is for the Google Sheets project. Um, click Enable APIs, and BigQuery pop-up, and it's already enabled, but there would be a big Enable button if it wasn't. That's all you need to do there. Um, and similarly, from the Google API console, we need to do a couple things. Um, one is uh, enable the BigQuery API similarly for for a new project. So this demo project, BigQuery API, we'll just make sure it's enabled. Okay, it's already enabled. The last thing you need to do is set up billing for your uh, BigQuery account. There's a $300 credit and one year trial that's always in the top bar here for BigQuery. You can select that. Um, and then just go to billing and make sure that your projects are linked to your billing account. Um, so I already had a billing account and the project was automatically linked to it. If not, you probably have a prompt here um, to link your uh, exact account. Now that our account and billing and BigQuery project stuff is set up and the APIs are enabled, we'll go ahead and take the second step first step in the in the menu here, the CIFL agency data pipeline menu, and click create BigQuery data set. What this did is it created a data set and think of that like a database that we can then start adding tables to. So if you see in BigQuery demo, we now have the 
agency data pipeline data set. Um, cool. So step four here, we're going to pull some raw data into Sheets. And if you go to the GA tab, I've, I mean, you won't, this has like a Supermetrics query pre-configured. I just pulled some basic data in here for my own site, Codings for Losers, to, uh, to get us going here. And this is what we're going to upload and then pull back into, uh, into Sheets. So step five is configure your BigQuery tables. This is kind of the table structure of what you need in BigQuery. So the, all of these uh, columns should be pretty self-explanatory. We're just gonna label the tab name that they're coming from. These basically set, okay, where do we want, what column do we wanna pull from? And these should be in order. You can start with column B or C or D or whatever it is, but they should be in order. Um, we'll call this table uh, Google Analytics. And let's see. And let's just name these fields. They should be lowercase, no spaces, um, you know, kind of machine readable format. So we'll just call this view, page path, source, medium, sessions goal completions. And you just note each of these format. So databases and, you know, computers are dumb, right? Like you need to tell them exactly what they should be looking for. Um, so you need to set kind of typeset your format. So your view is a string, page path is a string, source is a string, medium is a string, sessions will be an integer, and so will goal completions. Okay, so now that those are logged, you can do the same thing for views also. This is just basically like a SQL query that will create a view. Um, you know, we could do like select star from Google Analytics. I won't do that today, but if you want to, that's here for you. Uh, so we'll create data tables and views. And basically what this does, we'll log that yes, these were set up once that finishes. This is helpful because it can be a huge pain in the ass to um, set up, you know, say you have 20 tables that you want to set up and, you know, know their columns and format. It's, it's non-trivial to go and do that by hand. So it's nice to just have the script to do it. Cool. So if we refresh, then we'll see in BigQuery, we have our table here with our formats. It also has a name format, which um, in this case will be the tab. It'll automatically be populated with the tab that it's coming from. It also has a time of entry, kind of a timestamp, so you can see when when was this uploaded. That can be helpful if you need to do like kind of deduplication or, or anything of data later on. So basically, once you have this BigQuery set up, we'll go back to the instructions. So now that we have our table set up, we're ready to push data up to BigQuery. So this will happen right from the table in the Getting Started tab. Um, you'll see that once these are all of the tables that you've set up. I think there's a limit of 10 or so here, but you could easily expand that. So it just says we're pulling uh, data from the GA tab, writing it to Google Analytics. We'll set live to true. And then we'll push push data to BigQuery in the, uh, in the menu. And basically this is a two-step process. This will run um, and it'll mark, it, mark the time that it, la it ran here. And then we just need to check the status job and make sure it completed. If there's an error message, it'll tell you here. Um, and we had 100 rows and it uploaded 100. So that ran successfully. And now if we refresh BigQuery, we'll see that data in there in the preview. So we see we have 100 rows in this table, time of entry of uh, the 26th of January 2018 and all of our data there. Great, so that's really all that you need to do if you wanna upload data. You can add more tabs, uh, set them up, set up the tables, and then just set them to live on the front page and, and upload them to BigQuery. Uh, now, let's, now let's do, say we wanna pull data back from BigQuery into Sheets. Um, so, one thing we can do here is if we go to the BigQuery console and we select Query Table, um, we can write some SQL. Uh, so 
we'll say select page path, some sessions, some goal completion. We'll basically do, let's do a conversion rate. So some goal completions over some sessions as conversion conversion rate. Uh, this is our table here. Notice BigQuery has this um, syntax for tables where you, you have table ID. Um, and this is if you're using legacy SQL. So table ID, data set, and then table name. Uh, if we're doing standard SQL, you could, which is, you know, if, if you're used to writing SQL from like Postgres or something like that, it'll be standard. And it just has a different, um, different syntax for setting the table names. So group by page path, order by, order by conversion rates descending. Okay, so this gives us the conversion rate of each page. Wow, that's super high on, uh, if you look up in Google Sheets formulas. So if we wanted to pull this same query into Sheets, we would say, uh, we just drop it in here and we'll say, write that to um, conversion rate by landing page is the tab. Let's change the name here. Cool. All right, so let's run that from the menu. If you, if on the getting started tab, it just says uh, pull queries from BigQuery. Let's capitalize that. Cool, so if we look at conversion rate by landing page now, we have um, we have our data here. So this is the name of the query. Uh, now we have page path and our conversion rates. So if we want to run that again, uh, and we didn't want to append data, if we want to just have one log, we just set that to false. Um, pull queries from BigQuery and it would refresh it. Boom, exact same data. So that's really all there is to this. Um, I know there might be some, you know, this is complex, right? It's it's going from working in spreadsheets into working in databases. So if you're not familiar with SQL, um, I have a free course called Learn SQL in a Spreadsheet that I'll link to uh, in this sheet and in the video. But yeah, if you're ready to roll, if you know SQL and you're just your challenge is just getting data from you know, from APIs like Twitter ads or Facebook ads or Google Analytics or AdWords or whatever it is into BigQuery, um, then you can just follow the instructions in the sheet and you're ready to rock and roll. Um, and last thing I'll note is that this is a tool that we use at Coding is for Losers as part of our agency data pipeline service where we manage uh, fully managed data pipelines for all the sources that I've mentioned, all those different APIs uh, into BigQuery and do all the data modeling for digital agencies. So if you're a digital agency and looking to get your arms around your uh, analytics tracking, feel free to, uh, to reach out to me. Take care, guys.